What up, what up, what up, people? Looks like we are back. Power Book 2 Ghost Series Premiere. Long awaited. You know, so <clears throat> I'm excited about this one. I know everybody been waiting for it. And now here we are. I'm excited to be back doing these reviews, discussing the show with y'all and everything. So, um, yeah, let's let's get into this. Um, looks like they have the same theme song. They ain't want to repeat of what happened with the the whole Trey Songs thing. So, I guess they decided to just stick with the original theme. That's a classic. It's probably the greatest theme for a show of, of all time. So you can't go wrong with the with Big Rich Time. So it's cool that they got the same thing. But I thought they were going to do something with Mary and Method Man at least. That would have been crazy. But if we can't get that, the original theme is the next best thing. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, so we see Tariq is now at Stansfield, his um, college that Simon Stern got him into. And um, Tasha is in jail for the murder of James St. Patrick and all that. And Tariq is trying to get his moms out. His moms is trying to protect Tariq. And we see that um, Tamika is defending Tasha. And she ends up getting Tasha a good deal where she would only get parole. But in exchange for that, so I'm, I'm, I got a cough drop. I'm sucking on Anyway, um, Tamika gets Tasha a deal where she will only have parole but and no jail time, but she has to give up the shooter, her accomplice, because Tamika knows and the prosecutor knows that Tasha couldn't have pulled it off herself. And so T Tasha originally gives up RJ Coleman, but <clears throat> that's, of course, you know, they say RJ... Couldn't have done it. And then... So Tasha can't give up Tariq. So she ends up firing Tamika. <clears throat> now Tamika is straight by the book. She's not doing no case with... Putting her license on the line where Tasha lies. And then she gets caught in her lies. So Tamika lets her know that she has to tell the truth. So Tasha fires her. So now Tariq has to go find a new lawyer. And I... Maybe Tamika refers him to Method Man's character, who's another criminal defense lawyer. But him, he does things a little different. He's good at what he does, but he don't need the truth. He's, he, he just wants to win the case. As long as he don't get caught, he cool with, you know, lying a little bit. Unlike Tamika. And now Tasha. So Tasha's back in jail. She has no bail. <clears throat> now, uh, the turns of Simon Stern getting Tariq into Stansfield is that he has to... Ba Tariq is basically completing two college degrees because he has to do all of the work of a star basketball player who's going to be his roommate. So, And now Tariq wants to take on... a. a the canonical, whatever it's called, where he takes on an even bigger workload. So he's doing his work and he's doing his college roommate's work. So Tariq has a lot on his plate and he has to worry about getting his mom out of prison. So now with all that, he has to go back to selling again because now he has to pay Method Man, the lawyer dude, to 500000 to defend his mom. So Tariq is doing all this. And he has school and everything. He has to make sure that he does his schooling. Because that's the only way he can get his trust. To really help his family out. So Tariq is really stretched thin. <clears throat> now we all know Tariq. Tariq is a, like, he's, he's, he a, he a bad little nigga. He a bad motherfucker. But it, it is kind of hard. 
watching like a little dude he going through all this and having to do all this. So I, I I'll have to see how how it is how the series progresses with this, but this first episode it was it was a little tough to see Tariq having to do all this to stay afloat. What else we got here? Oh, we see um so in the middle of Tariq trying to get back in the game, he finds out um Effie's whereabouts. You know, Effie played him the <laughs> Last scene during power where he thought she was feeling him, but she ended up, you know, getting him caught up. But she just let him know that it was all business. Tariq was selling for fun, but she was selling because she had to. She needed to pay for her books, so she had to kill the competition. So Tariq got his, he got some product from her, and he hooked up with, um, with old girl who daughter was in... Tasha's daycare also, so she's selling for him. So Tariq is, he's back in the flow of it. He try, he's trying to save, save his moms. Now we see um Sax and Mox. Mock is back. So Mock got Sax the job as um the U.S. attorney. And now what they want. The the Democrats, they're trying to keep whatever secrets that James had really private. All the shit, all the killing, the the dope dealing, the kingpinning. They're trying to keep that a secret because if that comes out, that really, well, according to them, that makes the Democratic Party look like fools. Because they didn't vet him or, you know, he, he was basically going to be. Lieutenant Governor, and he had all this shit going on. So, they're pressuring Sachs to charge Tasha with everything. Put everything on Tasha. Like, she was the queen pen. She did all the killing. She was selling, and she killed James to keep his mouth shut. Now, originally, Sachs wasn't trying to do that. And Sax is trying to cover his ass, too, because Tariq saw him at Truth that night. So Tariq has that on him. So that's why he set up Tasha with Tamika to try to get her cleared so he doesn't get exposed. So now we have the scene where um, the basketball star, he takes Tariq around his family. They have a big party, welcome him, welcome, welcome him, him, you know, to congratulate him on his collegiate career. He's like, he's like the big hope of the family, the b-ball hope, so he, he's probably the future professional basketball player and when we, when they get there you kind of see that this ain't no ordinary family and this character ends up being related to Mary J. Blige's character who and she, of course we know that she's gone she's a queen pin she got her her, her her feet deep in everything that's going on so that's going to add another layer to the story because this dude is Tariq's roommate. So um, Tariq wants his mom to come home. And, so, and he wants his mother to give him up. So and he tells Method Man, he tells the lawyer that... Uh, and cold that she needs to tell the truth so she can come home. Give him up because he's not scared anymore. So they get to the courtroom and you know T Tasha is telling her side of the story. She's ready to give up her accomplice. And she ends up naming Tommy. <laughs> As the shooter. 
<laughs> she named Tommy as the shooter. <laughs> that sent me when she named Tommy. So, um, so she thought after she named Tommy that, um, well, at, basically after she named Tommy, she was going to be cleared. But then the that Democratic leader dude told Sachs now he has to charge he has to get her to be charged with the, the Queen Pin charge to keep James's name clean. So they bring that to the prosecutor. So now she was charged on Queen Pin, like the murder. All of that criminal organization. So she was rearrested again. So now this is the federal trial with the um, with everything they arrested her for. So now we we thought, well Tasha thought that she was going home, but that wasn't the case. They brought some whole new charges on her. So now basically Tasha is ghost now. They charging Tasha as ghost. So. Tariq and his lawyer, they got a whole new thing going on. And that's when, you know, the lawyer, he's like, what the hell you got me into, kid? Like, this is not what I signed up for. Because uh, he was supposed to have her off right then and there. Now he has to go through a whole nother deep case. But Tariq lets him know that if you win this, you know, you beat this case. You're going to be the biggest criminal defense attorney in New York. So, of course, Sax got to be Sax. He turned. And it's crazy. You see how Sax's family, they bully him. <laughs> so, it gives you insight into his personal life. Uh, but, um, this this episode, yeah, you really see what, uh, what, the pressure that's on Tariq because he's taking, he's trying to do a program where he could finish in three years and that program is going to stretch him even thinner. So he has to read the book and and uh, present his, you know, tell, you know, give his thoughts on the book in front of the committee. Of course, he gets in the program, but he has a lot on his plate. He has a lot on his plate. But now at the end, he realizes that, you know, the um, he realizes that Zeke, the basketball player, his family, they, they need deep in it just like his family and that Mary J's character. And she's a queen pan. So he's going to keep getting even deeper with these people. But, um, yeah, that, that was a lot... A lot going on with this episode. And we saw um, Tasha from Everybody Hates Chris. Paige Heard. She's gonna, she looks like she's going to be a love interest for Tariq also. Looks like Tariq is going to be busy with the ladies this uh, in this series. So, um, but yeah, this, it was, um, it was a little tough to see Tariq having to do all this to uh, to keep his family afloat, to get his mom's out. And he's thinking about his grandmother and his, and, and Yaz and everything. So, yeah, it's definitely, this, this is definitely a different vibe from the power we're used to. So I can't really, I can't really judge it yet. It's going to take a few more episodes. But um, let me know what y'all thought about the first episode of uh, Power Book 2, Ghost, The Stranger. Anyway, oh, like, let me know in the comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and all that. Catch y'all next week. No, let me know if anything I missed, any important scenes or lines that I missed, let me know. All right, peace.